to go back to when you used to play basketball. Yeah. So who's your team? Well, I'm a Knicks. Knicks fan. Your I'm a Knicks, Knicks sufferer. As I was going to say, I'm a y'all Knicks are. Sufferer. It's but hard. The original Knicks team was my, you know, the team from the late '60s. That was my favorite team: Willis Reed, Walt Frazier, David Busher, Bill Bradley, Dick Barnett. So Wait, what position team. did you play? I played guard and forward, and I played. You know, I was I was a good player, and I I wanted to. I almost got a. I was scouted by a few co- Whoa, small colleges. Okay, yeah. John. I'm my big fro. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. so oh, yeah. okay. I had an earring in high school, a big fro. Yeah, I was you were whole, out here. Yeah, I was out there, man. <laughs> I, I'm one of the first people who had, actually had their ear pierced. And like, how was your family about this? Well, my great grandfather had two earrings because in Italy, if you were a, a guy who carted goods, that was part of your job. He, I, he's got double earrings. I love this. Cord. Yeah. So I pierced my ear because I saw Al Pacino in Serpico <laughs> and, and then I was wearing a fake one and then I got it done and then my mother hit me, you know, with a <laughs> pan and stuff. But no, I was, a, I was a serious basketball player. I played high school and I played on a, like, a church league and I almost went to the University of Hawaii. I was, they were interested in me and then I, I got hurt my last season. And it was probably good that I got hurt, but <laughs> I, I played basketball until I don't know, a few years ago they took the court out of our gym and uh, we would have these incredible who's, games. who's your favorite player of all time? My favorite player of all time? Well, I would say I did see Dr. J play in person. And wow. I think he was, he was, I saw him play when he was on the Virginia Squires before he played on the Nets. And he was really, really, everybody, I mean, I used to buy the ABA ball. Right, right. And you could palm it. I could yeah. palm it because it had a good grip. And everybody in the schoolyard was Dr. J. I mean, <laughs> Earl Pearl. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I like David Wolf Walt Frazier, you know. Uh, but uh, I was a Nick, like, fanatic. But Dr. J probably, I just, there's something about him that's really, I don't know. He was like, he wasn't maybe as much of a killer as Michael Jordan, but I, I would say doc, Dr. J. Yeah, there's something about him that I just, he was just beautiful. Yeah. You know? And he was from my era. Yeah. You know, and he had the fro and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah. So Is I, basketball the same to you? Like when you watch LeBron? I, and I, 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 I liked the Warriors before they had Durant. I loved the way they passed the ball. I still like the Warriors, the way they, they play. Uh, LeBron, you know, he's such a unique player that I've basically probably rooted against him because I felt like he was so dominant. Oh, look at the hate you know? coming no, out of you, John. No, rooted, no, no, no. I, but when he was on Miami, I wasn't so crazy about that. But he's, you know, listen, I, I wish he would have come to the Knicks. Let's right? On Cleveland, what is, what I, I, I liked him on Cleveland. What I looked, do the I Knicks need, man? The Knicks need. Uh, if we could give him a message well, right now, you John. you know, it comes from the top down. That's all I want to say. <laughs> Talk the, about it. It comes from the top down and <laughs> to build a team, you got to be lucky, you have to have whatever. And listen, the team in the 90s, that was, they were really, I love oh, that yeah. team. I mean, people didn't understand what they had in Patrick Ewing, but Patrick Ewing never Man. had another great player right. play with him. Right. And we, you know, my heart was broken by Michael Jordan so many times. <laughs> LeBron never broke my heart. Michael Jordan you can deal with broke that. my heart <laughs> so many times. Because I'm a Nick fan. Baby. Right. I went with Spike when we went made the finals. We went to Houston together. Me, him, and uh, not and Bradford Marsalis. We sat. Yeah. We seventh game. We lost. We went. To, I like we it's together. a we lost. We it's lost, man. We were like uh, it was you know devastating. But I'm like uh, but now it's like. I don't understand. They have all these dancing girls and they throw towels. Like, I don't come to the garden for that. I want to see good basketball player. And I also, you want to see players develop so you get involved with them. But if a guy just comes for a year, it's not the same thing. But if you see someone, this guy, they make a great trade, but they've developed these three players, you have a relationship with them. And I, I think that's the people who stay with the same team it means a lot to the fans. Right. You know, it does. So I, I think when LeBron was in Cleveland, I felt like, well, that's a good match. That's what he should right. be. Right. He shouldn't be in L.A. You know wow. I mean? I, yeah, wow. I, I never root for the Lakers. Ever. Oh, um, yeah. Ever. I, I can ne- see this. Never root for the Lakers. <laughs> never. Okay. No way. No way. I like uh, seventy. I like that guy Ben Simmons now. He's he's interesting to watch. He's 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 good, man. Yeah. The seventy six has got a. They have a. And I also, the, the Bucks are interesting. 
But I like I like I'm a I'm a Curry fan. I have to say, I he's awesome. Talk. He's awesome. Yeah, I mean, he's awesome. I, I, I watched him play in Davidson, and yeah. he was like, he's unapologetic. He's, he's fearless. Great, he's just he's a small guy. Yeah. So what's not to love about the yeah. guy? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean LeBron is he's, he's like a Superman. Yeah. You know, but he would have come to the Knicks. You're you going to love him. Yeah. You're going to be there, right? I would have gonna... been talented sneakers <laughs> off the whole thing. You can't. Yeah. I mean, you know. Right. But I wish we, you know. I don't know. So I'm a, I'm a season, uh, I share my tickets, but uh, I think this is like, if I don't see something next year, I think I'm, I can't go to the Nets because even though I'm in Brooklyn, I can walk there, but I, but the Nets are doing pretty good this right. year. Right. Maybe I should, I should think about this, but Spike, would make, we'd have to have a seance. So yeah, no, it would be a full we bleed, situation. We bleed orange and blue. Yeah. <laughs> but I say, I, I told him we're suckers. I yeah. said, we're, we're, you, know, you keep going back. Yeah, we're like addicted to like that's a dysfunctional relationship. <laughs> that's a dysfunctional relationship. That's probably Being what I was thinking fan. about when I was doing Glory and Bell. Oh my god! But I'm a, yeah, I, but I like I like sports. Yeah. I like tennis and I like every you know I like a lot. Of, but basketball is my my favorite sport. John, it was such a pleasure to oh, talk you, to you today. Delighted to talk to you. Man, I now every time I look at LeBron, I'm gonna think. That what? That, I'm going to be like, wow, John was hating on him. No, I wasn't hating on him. <laughs> I just didn't, you know. Uh, You're not a Lakers fan. It doesn't, no, I'm, right? No, it's never going to be. No. I, I, I liked when he was, I thought it was Cleveland. I said, yeah. yeah. He, that was heroic, what he did in Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. They should have stayed together. Yeah. Kyrie should have stayed with him. Relationships, man. Well, if he would have stayed, they'd still be in Cleveland. They'd you be doing so? better. Yeah. That's where he belongs. He's from Cleveland. So no, I, I believe in like loyalty. Yeah. But now, but at the same time, the players are they 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 you know they want to have freedom to do what they want to do. I just don't think it builds the fan. You you, you want to know the players a little. Bit. And you know, fans now are different than back in the day because it was like you were a fan of where you were from. Right. Now, like a lot of my nephews and nieces, they right. just love great players. They That's love it. Steph. You know, yeah. they're they're right. Steph Curry fans, so they'll Me wear too. a Warriors jersey. I want to sometimes buy a Warrior jersey. Do I look it, at it. I John. Do it. Want to get one? I said, but if I get one, and I wear it. You know, it's uh, okay. You're not a full trader if you get no. a Steph Curry jersey. Don't I worry, know. John. We yeah. got your back. There's also good colors. They have yeah. good colors. <laughs> I've always liked San Francisco. Right. When I was a kid. I always liked I the love team San Francisco, San Francisco yeah. because it's more has something in common. Yes. With with New York, I, I love the Giants. Yes. You know, San Francisco Giants. Because it was the New York Jets. Right. Uh, it's all right. Like get, a Steph, get a Steph jersey. Yeah, Guys, didn't, didn't we're it. getting John a Steph jersey. <laughs> You'll Let's see. The next time I'm on the show, I'll have a Steph thing. Steph jersey. You know, the whole thing. John, <laughs> yeah. it was the okay. best. Thank all you right. so much. <laughs>